Hi everyone, it's Nicole and today it's the next day and we're going to finish the bullet journal for 2023. So my reading journal, we're going to get it done. And one thing I want to say is I don't want to spend 10 hours on this, right? I already spent an hour and a half yesterday, maybe another hour today. And I want this to be done. I want it to be functional. I want it to be somewhat pretty, but I don't want to take, you know, half a month to create. So here we go. Okay, so this is the next day. So we'll just go through what we've got done so far. Oh, and I forgot to mention these yesterday. I got these on Amazon. Here's the name of them, A-E-C-H-Y. And they are double-headed pens. One side has a writing tip. And then the other side has like different tips on them so that you can kind of do stuff like this. So cool. <laughs> so I saw two different types. So there was like more like the muted and then the brights. So I got both. And, you know, it, it ranges from like wigglies like that to dash marks to like the one that I used here, the black one. I just like, because I kind of messed up here and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go with it. And I just kept doing that. And now I'm doing it on every page. Another thing, do you remember when I told you that I used an X-Acto knife and cut some of the pages? I was sure I checked to make sure I took all the ones that were cut, but this one was a little cut. So what I did was I just took some wet glue and I just put wet glue in there and let it dry up. And it seems to have worked. I'll tell you that today I'm going to put some more there and then I'm going to put some more. I'm going to put some on this page to make sure that it's nice and secure. So I want to color this in. I want to color this in. I wrote down the 23 books that are my priority in 2023. Now those books obviously are going to be on my TBR list, right? They're going to be in there because I want to color them in. So on my TBR list, you know, I want to read 100 books. I want to read some from the library. I want to read some from my Kindle. And so they could, they're going to be in here too, I think. I'm going to put all the books that are on my shelves that I want to read right now first. And then I'll put the books on my Kindle that I want to read. I only have four, four pages. So, and... The stamp set that I use for that, I don't even know where the whole stamp set is, but I have a smaller square compared to this big one. So I like to use a small square for that. And what I do is once I read the book, I'll just take a colored pencil and I'll color it in. Okay, so let's go back. So the 23 books I want to read in 2023 is The Winners by Frederick Bachman, which is the end of the series love that series so I already I bought that in 2022 so it doesn't count as you know purchase less than 10 books the in, in, invisible life of Addie LaRue I have all this is on my shelves the passion of Dulce strange the dreamer sky hunter gilded surviving Savannah this is a historical fiction I think I'm going to read that in February my the rest of my month for January is pretty full the Final Empire, I want to start reading Brandon Sanderson. So I'm putting the first book there. Winter Keep, Kingdom of the Curse. That's the beginning of a series. Firefly Lane, because I want to watch the TV show. So The Dream Daughter, Keeper of the Lost Cities, book one. Last year, I had like five books in the series on my TBR. That's not going to happen. I enjoy middle grade. I don't love middle grade. You know what I mean? Like I enjoy it, but it's not like I'm going to go and grab it all the time. But I want to read that series for sure. If You Dare, that's the last book in the trilogy. I want to finish it. Hollow Pox, that's all also part of a series. So third book, it's got more than three books, but they're, the storyline is grouped in books of threes. And I think 
you know, that's the first three books. I don't know if the fourth one came out or not. So I want to finish this series, you know, that storyline before I forget what was going on. <laughs> one Dark Throne, that's the start of another. Uh, it's a four book series. Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Klune. I love his first book, so I want to make sure that I read that. Gone with the Wind. I had to put a classic on here. And it's massive, so I'm going to start that probably in February. It's probably going to take me February, March, and probably April <laughs> to read it. It's massive. The Lost Apothecary. Warrior of the w Wild. Um, American Royals. Wolf by Wolf. And No Time Like the Future. That is the Michael J. Fox. So it's a nonfiction. So I have a nonfiction. I have a classic. I have a historical fiction. Uh, that could be, if you dare, can be considered a thriller, I guess. Um, so pretty good. I have, you know, some um, fantasy on there. I have... I have a good variety. Let me put it that way. So now I just got to color in those books. So this one here, I already read Little Women. So I'm not going to read it again. So I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm just going to, and I just read it last year. So it's not as if I read it like, you know, 20 years ago. I just read it in 2022. So that one's already done. I own this book on Kindle already. So it'll do two things. It'll knock off a book on my Kindle. And it'll knock off a book on this. I asked the library for this one and this one. And this one was already available. So I'm going to read that probably um, the end of January, starting in February. I think I have it till February 6th. So it's got to be done by February 6th. I th I'm pretty sure I have that book here. But I didn't want to put the others yet on, you know, on hold because I only have so many time, <laughs> so much time to read. So this is what I do. So when like the queen of nothing, I've read this. So I'm going to color it. And what I do is I kind of do like I do for my title is I just choose different um, colors of pencil and I just color it in because it's nice and pretty. Other years, I would have the number here and then this over here. I kind of screwed up, but that's okay. Does it really matter how many books are on my TBR? I can figure it out. This is 40. This is 40. This is maybe 25 at the most, right? So I'm going to have, if I fill this up, it's, you know, over 100 books. So, uh, and then I, at the end of the year, I can count how many of those, you know, are colored in really. So I think that is it on this page for the ones that I've read. See, I've read already 15 books, so I didn't put them all together on here, like one after the other, because then I would have like boom, 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 all together. And I didn't want that. I wanted, you know, colored stuff everywhere. This is the only place where it's going to be right in a row because I put all the, the books in the series together. Oh, that's a pencil. Okay, okay. Let's put a blue here. So I've read three of those books. It's the Virgin River series. I must be almost done. Oh, and then these two here, Heartstopper. Oh, no, I put the Queen of Nothing on there twice. Okay, I'm going to have to um, erase that and put another book. So here I've read Heartstopper 1 and I've read Heartstopper 2. And I have on hold Heartstopper 3 and 4. Well, I have 4. I don't have 3. So I'm waiting for 3. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go through there. There's still like that one I've read, that one I've read, that one I've read, that one I've read. So there's quite a few there that I've read. So I'll go color them in. I'll erase this. You know what? I got the thing right here. I've already colored in the other one. So, and that's okay. That's okay. 
I'm trying to, and then what I did too is on my, I picked a specific shelf and all the books that I'm going to have on this, I'm going to put it on that shelf. So then when I'm looking for a book, I can just go grab it. it it's, I don't have to go look through all my, um, all my books. Okay. So this is the section where it's all the library books that I read. Now I've already read all these. And today I'm going to read and I'm going to finish another one. So I'm already at 12 that I've read from my library. Now down here, this is where I'm going to pick two colors. And at the end of the book, I'm going to write down what these colors are. Um, like physically write down what color it is. Because the ebooks I'll color one color. And the physical books, I'll color one color. Because I get both from the library. Ooh, I should put one for audiobook. In case I get an audiobook, right? Because the library does have audiobooks. So I'll put audiobook there when I find a pen. <laughs> now, next, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use that same stamp set. I've already put it, or did I? Nope. I was going to say I already put it on a stamping block, but I did not. Is that going to fit on there? What stamping block do I have that on? This? Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to stamp Kindle. And then I'm going to stamp, um, like, my shelf. I'm just, and, like, here I just happen to have a stamp that said library. So this one, I'll just write out Kindle. I'll write out shelf you know, my shelf or whatever. Um, and then I'll do the, I'll just decorate it a little bit like this. And that's another thing I want to say. I'm not going crazy above and beyond on all of these because I don't want this to take me three weeks to do. I wanted it done in a couple of days and then it's, it's just done, right? It's just done. I probably should have put that more at the edge Okay, so this will be the beginning of another video. So I'll probably have to go back and say, hi, everyone. Because <laughs> at first I thought, oh, maybe I should just put it, um, I, you know, do it all in one video. But I think, I think the other video is going to be long enough. Okay, I have to find a pen that works. Okay, here's a pen, and that always makes me a little nervous. I don't particularly like my handwriting. Let me see. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, those are numbers. Oh, I have those little stickers. Have those little stickers, right? Maybe let's do that. Because I don't particularly like my handwriting a lot of times. A lot of the times. Let's do green. We haven't done green. So we'll do Kindle. I think that looks so much better. Oh, I got two eyes there. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to go at the bottom here. Okay. Oh, no, there's no L. Oh, well, I'm taking an I for an L. I think it'll still look like a L. <laughs> Maybe I'll push it over like that, and then I can take something and make the bottom here. I don't want to take an E because I use E's a lot, right? Oh, that, that really bites. Let's see if we can figure something out. Maybe this, make it look like an L. Ah, 
Kindle. Okay, that's awesome. Maybe I can just put a little, maybe little flowers from here. Is there flowers in here? Is there flowers? Hmm, a little tea bag? <laughs> Why not? I don't drink tea, but... Or I could do a little drink. I'm always, like, drinking water, and sometimes I flavor my water. A little cup of tea would be... Or coffee, I mean, would be awesome. But that's good. I like that. Adding more color. Like I said, I'm not looking to, you know, do some crazy pants stuff. I'm just looking at making it pretty and having somewhere where I can... Um, Kind of keep track of all the books I'm reading, right? All the books I'm reading and just a cute little place. And I find that it makes me, it makes me read more. Like it makes, when I have goals, it makes it so that I try to do better if I keep track of it. If I don't keep track of it, I'm like, eh, who's going to know? <laughs> Who's going to know? Nobody. So I always try to keep track of stuff just for that reason, just for me. Do you know what I mean? Because then I I find myself way more accountable to, to try harder. Okay. Maybe I can put that there. Maybe I can put, I don't know, some saying there. Uh... Oh, I could have put books due with um, with the library. I could put pages red. That'd be cute. Now these, I like to put wet glue on them instead of... Do I want to use this one instead? Doesn't matter. I, I just like the pink because of that, so... I'm sure, I'm sure I'll use it somewhere else. Um, I like to use the wet glue because when I went back and looked at the other ones that I did, the ones that I did the wet glue, it almost looked like a sticker. Do you know what I mean? It just feels like a sticker, so. So. Alrighty. Now, what else? Ooh, maybe a little washi tape. I think I'm going to take my whew, my shirt off. It's getting it's getting warm in here. Should I put? Hmm. Ooh, I like this one with the bubbles. Let's use that one. If we can get it off, some of these, some of these are pretty old. Some of these are pretty old. I'll put it 
right at the end here. Pull this up. Uh, we're going to have to glue that down because I peeled half of it up. can do the pages red there and put that down here and then after that I'm going to put you on fast forward and we'll get I want to get some coloring done on the first pages and then I'm going to finish the only thing left to do is the next page I'm going to do my shelf and I'm going to use some stickers again just do a little bit of decorating again using that little black marker here and kind of doing little little marks all over just so it looks I don't know kind of distressy kind of like it like that maybe right here okay and then after that, so that'll be one more. After that, this is what I, then I want to do um, books read. And that's where I'm going to do like book one to whatever. And then I'm going to put a little picture and a little TBR, not TBR, a little summary of the book. I'm going to use my five star stamp set. So I'll probably do like book one here, book two, book three, book four. It's probably going to take most of this to finish off the year but that's okay you know this was something I had in my stash so it's not something I had to go purchase so that actually worked out really really good because I was gonna buy one and then I'm like look first to see if you have anything right in your stash that you can just use and then you're not spending money Okay, so now I'm gonna put you on fast forward. We'll get those two last pages done. Okay, so this one here, I'm gonna keep it almost the same as what I did, you know, for the library and the Kindle. And this one are all the books that I'm gonna read from my shelf. And the reason that I wanna keep it like three separate lists is I wanna know how many books am I gonna read from the library because I've had my library card for probably 10 years, but I hadn't used it at all. And I started using it again, I think in November or December. So I wanna see, I wanna make sure that I use my library card because I wanna buy under 10 books this year. And I'm gonna keep to that because I just have too many of them. I have a ton of books on my Kindle that I need to read. So I wanna make sure that I read some from there. And of course I have too many books on my shelves. So I want to make sure that I read some from, from there. And, you know, reading 100 books, ideally, it would be nice if I could read, you know, about a third from each place. So a third from the library, a third from my shelf, and a third from Kindle. And then that way, I get um, some books read from everywhere. So hopefully that works. It looks like I might potentially read more from the library and that's because I requested a whole bunch of books and I want to make sure that I read them before I give them back. Now one thing I did was all those stamped images, those books are some digital files from our digital uh, store. You know you can use them in something like this, a, a reading journal, or you can use them on your scrapbook layouts and some of them are just black and white so that you can color them in yourself. So I went and got my pencil crayons and I'm just doing a little bit of coloring. Again, I think I said that in the first part of this, 
I really don't want to spend too much time on this, but I do want to keep track of it. Now, the very last thing that I, I'm going to do here, I don't know if I've done it at this point. I wasn't really looking at the video, but I want somewhere where I can keep track from one to a hundred all the books that I've read. Oh, I guess I'm going to work on that right now. All the books that I've read and a picture of each little book. Now, I was going to include that in this video, but it's already at 31 minutes. So um, when I work on this part of my read reading journal, I'll do maybe like a 15 or 20 minute video showing you how I'm going to keep track in order from one, book one to book 100 or however, how many I read, all the books that I read. So to kind of do that section, what I like to do is for every section, I like to take a washi tape and put it on the edge of the page. And then uh, also for this, I kind of used one of my big stamp sets. I think it's from Tim Holtz. And I just stamped sort of like the front cover for it. And then it's kind of divided. And this is where I'm going to keep track of all the books that I'm going to read in the next year. So I'm going to go back real time because as I was putting all this stuff away, I found something and I wanted to make sure that I put it in this reading journal because it's super cute. But once in a while this year, I'll show you, you know, updates of how I'm going to document all the books that I read this year. Okay, so I was putting everything away and then I found this stamp set. Hello. So cute. I can't even tell you who it's from, but I love this little guy. I love all of them. <laughs> oh, but I didn't use any of them. Uh, so I got this little guy here. And I thought I could use him because I didn't put anything here. So it's like it was meant to be. And I'll just put him right in the corner here. I'm not going to like color him in or anything like that. I just want him on a page somewhere. You know. Because he's so stinking adorable. So I'll put him right here. Still lots of room because this is going to be where I, you know, take a picture of, of the books that I'm reading and how you can do that. You go to Goodreads, you click on the book and then the book will, you know, uh, get magnified, I guess, or be fill up your screen. And then you take a picture of your screen and then I go in my app to print photos and then I choose one where there's like, I don't know maybe 12 pictures on a five by seven. So then they're really small and then I can put them in there. So that's going to be cute. So I'll use those stickers or tiny stickers and I'll put one to, you know, it's I've got zero to nine, but I can, you know, 11, I can just put two ones and, and I'm going to put a little picture, little summary, what I thought of it. And then the star rating, then I'll do like one, two, three, maybe four, even if I do three per page, I don't want to put more than one year in here anyway. And then I thought of doing like a list list, like one to a hundred or whatever of all the books that I read. And I'm like, but why would I do that when they're all going to be divided by library, Kindle, and shelf? And then I can just say, okay, well, I read 30 you know, library books, I read 20 Kindles and 50 from my shelf. So it still tallies up. And then in here, you'll see where all the ones that are colored in, I've already read. I've read the one, I've read those. I like some of these. Maybe it can be just stamped around. Sleep is good, but books are better. <laughs> oh, that's pretty much how it is for me read eat sleep in that order sleep is good but books are better I think I like that one so let's get this again and then it'll just be 
extra little thing on this page here. I don't want to color those books in. I just want it to be like that. And then there we go. Sleep is good, but books are better. That's going to be it. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to do in this. Um, now I'm just going to fill it up with, you know, what I've read and everything. And I'm going to put all the books that are on my possible TBR. There's probably going to be like 130. And, you know, my goal is to read 100. So there's 30 in there that I'm not going to make it to. But that's okay. You know, it's okay. They'll just go and make it to the next year. But at least I got, I got them in the back of my mind. And then eventually I'll feel like reading them. So that's it. That is going to be my reading journal for 2023.